In this video, we'll see how you can make a dialog with a custom layout in Android. I've created a sample application with one activity with one button on it. On clicking the button, the custom dialog opens. On clicking submit on the dialog, we populate a text view with what the user had entered in the dialog. I've created a new layout XML file called custom underscore dialog in the res slash layout folder. You can design this dialog in the way your application requires you to. I have a text view as the title of the dialog, two edit texts, a checkbox, and a button to submit the data. Just make sure the height of the parent view is set to wrap content. I'm not going to spend much time on the layout. Let's move on to the Java part. After initializing the button and the text view, I've set an on click listener on the button. I've added the logic of the custom dialog inside the function called show custom dialog. In this function, the first thing that we're going to do is to define the dialog. Let's create an object of the dialog class and pass in the context of the current activity. Since we already have a title in the custom dialog, let's disable the default title of the dialog. To do this, dialog dot request window feature and we're going to pass in window dot feature no title constant. You can allow or restrict the user from canceling the dialog by clicking outside of the layout by using the set cancelable function on the dialog object and passing true or false based on what you want. We're going to now initialize the views of the custom layout. You would do this by calling dialog dot find view by ID and passing in the ID of the particular layout. On clicking submit, we're getting the values that the user entered and passing it to a function that I've created called populate info TV that populates the text view with the data. After doing this, I'm dismissing the dialog. Do not forget to call the dialog.show function after defining the dialog. You can have any combination of widgets and play around with this. When I run the application, you can see that the dialog pops up on clicking of the button. And on clicking submit, the text view gets populated as expected. That's about it. The link to the source code is available in the description below. Thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe for more on point videos just like this one.